hello guys good morning to everyone or good afternoon wheresoever you are okay um today i want to talk about uh, those who will be applying to lithuania if you intend to study in lithuania this year i just want to update you that you cannot apply for a lithuanian study visa or a d type visa again however you are going to be applying for what is called trp which is the temporary residence permit and there are some documents here I'm going to be giving to you. Remember, these documents are the documents you need to apply for the TRP, which is the Temporary Residence Permit. The first document is a valid travel document, which is your international passport. The second document is the facilitation letter. This facilitation letter is going to come when you are trying to book an appointment to go for your uh, residence permit, the Temporary Residence Permit then if you are below 18 years then you will need a consent letter from your parents then you equally need a proof of sufficient funds that is proof of funds all right a document for proof of funds in this case you are going to be using a bank certificate all right and if you are going to be sponsored by parents you are going to be using um, employment contracts from your parents or documents to prove that your parents are employed then if you are going to be applying for the visa the temporary residence permit i mean you equally need what is called an end undertaking for a declaration of your place of residence where you are going to stay that is what i mean then you equally need what is called a police report all right a police report is very important before i forget my name on youtube is milton Fonkwa. all right you can check it on youtube and you watch the complete video and another document you need is a health insurance and there is something very fantastic about the health insurance here according to lithuanian officials you need to have a minimum of one year or oh, the res your health insurance have to be valid for the duration of your residence permit so if you are going to apply for a residence permit for three years then you should be ready to get a health insurance for three years all right if it's one year you should be ready to get it for one year and also remember that you have to pay a 60 euro fee to the embassy i hope you understand so these are some of the things that you need to know the very big change you should understand is that there are changes in lithuania and you cannot uh, you cannot migrate with family. All right. What I mean here is you cannot move with your husband, your spouse, uh, or somebody else. You get. You can only move by yourself. As of now, probably maybe in the future things are going to change, but right now there is no change when it comes to uh, Lithuanian study visas. I hope you understand. So I will be bringing more updates very soon for you guys.